Do you still have tigers? No, I have little kids. If I didn't have kids, just me and her, we would. So when your kids get older, you're gonna have tigers again? No, I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna be um, strong enough to handle them. You gotta be. You gotta be tough with them sometimes. Really? Uh, yeah. Oh, they understand. Listen, not the tigers as much because they get offended. They speak. They get um, depressed when you reprimand them. But lions are like dogs. Hey, sick him. Hey, get over here. Just like dogs. Cheetahs too. Cheetahs are more dogs. Cause cheetahs bark. They don't growl like cats or purr. They bite. They bark. So most cats, are, some cats are in the dog family. Really? Mm -hmm. So a cheetah behaves like a dog. Yes, yeah, a cheetah and um, and a lion. Tigers not so, but you can tell them what to do. And they that tag somebody, that jump on you, they come and chill out with you. Tigers are not like that. They just want to hang out with you alone. They don't want to be friends with no one else. Is it dangerous to have friends over when you got tigers? I normally don't. Have, I have them in the cage when the friends come over. Do you? Th so you th you're saying as you get older, and you become less aggressive, the cats can smell that. Yeah, they need. They know. Listen, they have to be put in that place. The tiger knows he has to be put in his place. And if you're not able to put him in his place, it's gonna put you in your place. So you got to be the customado to his mic. Absolutely, tiger. and it doesn't have to be brutal. Right. It doesn't have to be brutal. Listen. You could teach these cats, right? You could teach them, but very few, like only half a percent could be trained. You can't tame them. You could train them, but you can't tame them. Probably what, half a percent. Can what's the tame. difference? Well, if you, um, if you train them, they do tricks for you, you hang out with them, they do this, and then you got to put them away. Yeah. You know, but when you, um, when you have them raised, they, they, they sleep in the bed with you. You can do that? Yeah. Right? Yeah, but I didn't have lions, but I had tigers in my bed. And I had two of them in the bed. That's why they don't go well together. You are in the bed, they want to get close next thing you know. You got two four hundred pound cats fighting you. Holy shit. <laughs> and you try to roll to the floor. You roll on the floor and, the, and they're fighting on the bed. And they want to get close to you. Which one wants to get close, they start fighting. How do you break up a tiger fight? I don't. You know what I mean? This one beats the other one, then he runs to me, the other one try to get behind me, and this guy comes out. <laughs> it's like three in the morning in your bedroom? It's a fight with them. <laughs> I don't think I can handle that no, level listen, of I drama. I didn't think I could either. That never happened to me before. I used to have them since they first born. They slept with me, hanging out with me. And this never happened before. Never have never thought about bringing them up. They come upstairs. They hang out. But listen, if they ever fought, I get up. They, 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 oh, listen, the whole house you have to leave. Yeah, they fought. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> I have to get the whole house just flushed out, man. Why? The, the, uh, it's so, oh man, you can't. You think um, you think somebody do the um, the nuclear bomb on you or something, man? You can't breathe. Oh, the musk. Yeah. Ooh, they're spraying that stuff everywhere. <sighs> and listen, and if you're not careful, sometimes you, they 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 do this to him, and then they walk by, pow, they hit you with the piss. <laughs> Holy sh! They piss on you sometimes. They did out of contempt or love, or why do they do that? Sometimes you piss them off. Sometimes they're doing jokes on you, and they piss on you. They just walk by, and they rub up to you, they rub, get your face licking, and they walk, pow. And it comes from the back, and it comes out. It doesn't, it doesn't go like, they cut, drop down, and come back, pow. And, you're right, oh, and the smell of the piss, holy, oh, oh. <laughs> holy. It's really strong, huh? Oh, man, you, you listen. Ammonia don't have nothing on that. Really? Well, here yeah, you can pass out, man. You got to see it, man. And when <laughs> they do it, listen, it comes out like a spray and pop. Boom. The tail goes up and they go, bow. Boom. It hits you. What the fuck? <laughs> you die from the smell. The smell is worse than the, oh, man. How long did you have big cats in your house? 14 years, 13 years, like that. <laughs> but when people came in. I, I took them to the cage, to the cage where they run around and stuff. That. Did you ever worry you were going to get bitten? I should have been, but my ego told me I got these big mothers under control. I didn't talk to me and try to jump on me. You have to have the idea, but you have to show them respect. You show them respect. You don't show respect to these animals. You're finished. You got to kiss them, love them, stroke them, all that. So you got to show love. That hole.